The development of the next-gen car continues in 2023. Many different changes for safety, but also for performance. Short tracks, road courses, less downforce, significantly less downforce. What was changed to accomplish this? Yeah, if you look at this car, this new next-gen car makes most of its downforce underneath the car. So to our viewer, it's gonna be hard to see these things. There's a, there's a couple pieces in the front, they call them engine strikes. Basically vertical fences that wipe out the wash from the tires. That's helping the front. In the rear diffuser, they, they call them strikes. There's five vertical fences within the diffuser that organize the air. They're gonna take three of those away as well. And then on top of the car, there's the old school device. Yeah, the old school device, the spoiler, it's gonna be cut in half. So as a fan, a lot of this stuff is hard to see. So if you check out this graphic right here, this is the underneath of the next gen car. There's a lot to check out. The parts in the front we're gonna highlight, those of those engine strikes, you can't see them when cars are on the ground or on the racetrack, they're gone. In the back of the car, three of those vertical things, those strikes that Todd talked about, they have also been removed to reduce rear downforce. This is the best way to understand it. And then the small spoiler, is a small downforce change, it's actually a bigger drag change. So 30% less downforce, a gigantic change. And that small spoiler means less drag. What does that mean? It feels like it has more horsepower. Yeah, I was talking with NASCAR aerodynamicists and they felt like at 200 miles an hour, the reduction in drag would be like adding 50 horsepower to the program. So when you look at this car, and they did test this package back at Phoenix in January, and, and something very similar to it, they saw that the cars were like seven miles an hour slower in the middle of the corner, but because of that acceleration with no drag, they still made the same terminal speed at the end of the straightaway. So a lot more braking, a lot more slipping and sliding with these cars. And why should you care? Slipping and sliding means passing. I believe they're on the right track for the short tracks and the road courses in 2023.